Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you two easy ways to take backup of your e WordPress website if it is hosted on Namecheap's EasyWP Managed Hosting. So the first method is uh, by using the EasyWP Backup feature and for that log into the EasyWP dashboard by going to dashboard.easywp.com. It will ask you for login, login and you will get the screen. Simply click on it and then go to the backup tab and here you can see I have already created some backups before and this is really a very convenient and easy to use however there is a drawback with this tool too so this is why we need to have a backup a plan for backup <laughs> yeah okay so I'm going to tell you about it later uh, first I will show you how to create a backup it's really simple so for example i'm going to create this tutorial and before this uh, before i make any changes on my website i want to take a backup so i will name it here like backup before tutorial and put the name uh, date here this is just for my reference and then click on create backup okay now this feature is really useful and um, it doesn't take much long but um, till it's complete uh, i will tell you why i do not just uh, recommend to rely on on this feature because a few months ago when i tried this um, when the situation was not so good and maybe because of lack of support staff uh, there was uh, some issue with the restoration process i will show you uh, how it works you can see uh, the backup has been created and if you click on this three dots you will see this options download files download database restore delete so you can uh, download this stuff on your local PC files and database which are important so what happened was uh, I clicked on this option it there is uh, another option is to restore so if you click it, it will directly restore your website to the state when the backup was created. And the last option is fourth, uh, delete. So what happened with me was uh, I clicked on restoring this option uh, and it got stuck. Okay, so basically I couldn't stop it, stop the restoration process or I, you know, I couldn't do anything. So my website just got stuck in that state and when i contacted the support um after it, even after two three days i think i remember i did not get any reply it's completely dependent on this name keeps easy wp backup feature i did not had any other way to restore my website or stop the operation or do anything because if i made any changes and the backup you know somehow completed or I did not know what would happen so and all my uh, no, new changes will be gone so basically I so this is why I uh, do not recommend to you know just rely on this feature so with, I will show you the backup downloaded so this is the files you can see it contains all the files and the second is backup so it is basically the database backup you can see here so that's pretty simple and now the second method is go to easy uh, your WordPress website dashboard and on the left sidebar go to plugins click on add new so what we are going to do now is uh, install a backup plugin for our, our WordPress website which is completely free um, then search here in the search bar up draft plus okay search for it and you will see the first uh, this option updraft plus wordpress backup plugin uh, click on install now so what this plugin allows you to do is to create manual backups whenever you want or you can also set up automatic backups uh, schedule backups and that can also be uploaded to cloud services like google drive or microsoft cloud or any other service like amazon cloud and then click on activate so this is really useful feature and um, you know with like easy wp there is no way to schedule a backup automatic backups okay 
so you cannot there is uh, you will have to always create a manual backup so this is not very convenient so you should you know it is much better so let's say for some reason you couldn't uh, you know log into your website or if you manage multiple websites so you know you cannot just keep logging and creating manual backups for every website so and it is a good habit to have a scheduled backup setup so once this plugin is installed and activated what you have to do is go to the left sidebar go to settings and here you will find this option updraft plus backups click on it and now I will show you its functions uh, the first function is to create a manual backup and for that simply click on this option backup and you will see this options include your database include your files and the third option is I will tell you about this later so just simply click on backup now and a backup of your WordPress website will be created and it will depend on your website size and um, your database size how many images are there and stuff like that so I will show you it's a WooCommerce website and so it's like not a super simple or or a very tiny website kind of so it's a full-fledged WooCommerce website with lots of images and stuff okay so but still the backup process did, did not take much long I think it was just a minute so this is how you create a manual backup and once you create a manual backup you can download all these components on your PC just click on it and then you'll see this option download to your computer just click on it and the download will be saved on your computer okay similarly you can download all these components also and um, if you want to restore it you can also restore it from directly from here okay just like EasyWP um, you can directly restore your website to this um, backup state by clicking here and if you want you can delete this backup you can see the logs if there is any error okay and then I will show you how to schedule a backup go to settings and here uh, you will have to set man uh, how the backup schedule work will work how fre high frequently the backup will be created so you have this options two hour four hour eight hour so i would recommend you to go um, depending on how often your website content change you can uh, you know keep the settings so this is not a very active website for me so i will um, set a weekly backups and i want to keep two scheduled backups so basically if uh, if a backup is created today uh, so this week backup and last week backup will be available for me to restore okay and uh, backup which was created uh, two weeks before will be deleted automatically when the latest backup is created so you can also change it here if you want to retain more backups three four anything um, it completely depends on your choice and how much disk space your um, web hosting company offers because more backups means more disk space will be required and I will also show you where you can check how much disk space is used by backups later so for now I will set it to and similarly the database backup schedule I will set it to weekly and so, same to and if you want you can also like you know make more database backups and um, you know less file backups so it completely depends on your website what kind of website you have and how frequently the content changes and then scroll down now set a remote storage location so basically this is the best feature so what it will do is uh, for example we will select google drive so just um, select this and using google drive is free google drive or you can select microsoft drive whichever you have or dropbox there are multiple options available okay and what it will do is whenever a schedule backup is runs automatically or you create a manual backup now you will get an option to also upload it on the on your google drives also keep a copy of it on your google drive so in case your website get hacked or your server gets hacked you will still have a copy of your website backup on your google drive which will be completely secure so that's really an amazing option so now I will scroll down just keep the settings like this do not um, change it unless you know 
what files to exclude and stuff so and this take this option email so whenever uh, auto backup runs uh, you will get a, a you know email notification about it then click on save changes okay now it is asking me to authorize uh, updraft plus from to access my google drive so click this link and it will take you to this page simply select the correct email id and now it will ask you what permissions you are giving to updraft plus review it you can read all the terms and condition and stuff and then click on allow if you are satisfied with the uh, policies and uh, terms and conditions you can also read the privacy policy here then click on complete setup and once you do this uh, it will take you back to the wordpress website dashboard and you will see this message success you have authenticated your google drive account now best wp um, your google drive it also shows your google drive usage quota and how much space is available and now the we have set up the auto schedule backup which will run weekly and two backup copies will be retained okay so now if you go and create a manual backup you will see the th third option send this backup to remote storage it will only appear after you have configured the google drive settings or any other cloud provider settings in the settings tab and the fourth option what it does is uh, if you take this so like we have in the settings we just set uh, to retain only two copies but if you take this fourth option um, this uh, the backup you created uh, after taking this option the manual backup it will never be deleted automatically by the plugin uh, no matter what settings uh, tells about the, what settings are about retaining copies so this uh, manual backup will never be deleted if i create a backup with this option ticked and another thing is you can right now see there is no remote storage icon here because uh, in this is the backup we first created and, and that time we did not configure the google drive option now this uh, the backup which we will create uh, you will see that the, it will have a google drive option so i will show it to you later and let's uh, see the backup process starting and it is uploading files to remote storage and you can also see the it will first check how much quota is available if enough space is available and there are some also advanced features like you can manually upload backup files from here and rescan local folder for new backup sets but these are some advanced steps and um, so let's say uh, you want to restore uh, migrate your website and you download the backup files because it is creating too much uh, space issue for you okay so you can use this feature download this backups and migrate your website and upload this backup with um, the ftp feature and then you can uh, rescan this uh, local folder for new backup set so it uh, it will uh, recognize automatically and the third option is remote uh, rescan remote storage so for example something happened with your website and you've installed wordpress again and your google authorization link is um, you will have to authorize it again okay so it is not uh, recognizing your remote backup so you can use this feature to rescan remote storage location and if any backups exist on your google drive it will automatically recognize it and list it and allow you to restore your website to that state so that's an awesome feature and it's really useful if your website and your server gets compromised and hacked so you can do a clean installation and restore your backup to a website to a uh, stage where everything was working perfectly so you can see this time the process is a little slow because um, uploading files to remote storage is taking some time for some reason okay backup is finished so that's it and you can see here now that this lock icon because we selected the fourth option um, only allow this backup to be deleted manually um, keep it even if retention limits are hit and uh, if i click on this show all backups 
You can see on the previous backup we did not select the last option and there is no lock icon. It means it can be deleted automatically by the plugin. And there is this option, Remote Storage Google, Google Drive. So depending on your settings, it will show the correct icon of your cloud storage. And another thing, if you notice, uh, um, the last backup, which was which when we did not configure the Google Drive, now you can see there is an upload feature. So you can also manually upload um, your existing backups to your Google Drive. So it plugin, this plugin is really well thought plugin and uh, the free features are enough for you know, most website owners and it's really awesome and really useful so i hope you found this tutorial useful and um, if you did so leave a like post your comment feedback in the uh, in the comment section and um, anything else if you have any query or um, and if you are thinking to buy easy wp hosting you can check my affiliate link um, that will help supporting this channel but that's completely optional it's up to you so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next video